Okay, on this episode, I'm going to be looking at another Debian-based distribution. This is version 2 of Solus OS. Now, normally, I do not like to do reviews on alpha software. I'd much rather see the finished product, but I cannot ignore the number of requests that I've had for this. So, we're looking at Alpha 5, and we're going to see what kind of progress they're making right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Welcome to Solace OS. Now, this attempts to be a beginner's distribution. This is using GNOME 3 that has a GNOME 2 kind of appearance. Let me show you what I mean. If you right click on the, de on the uh, taskbar here, or the panel as we call it, uh, you can select to add items to your panel, much like you did in GNOME 2, or you can also right click and select properties and you can uh, change uh, the uh, panel options. And these are the same exact no options that GNOME 2 had. Pretty interesting, huh? Now, when you right-click on your desktop and select to change desktop background, you will see that you have the GNOME 3 wallpaper selector. And, of course, you get a number of wallpapers that you can choose from. Package management is relatively simple in this. This you could use as GTK application, which is a package manager for GNOME. And, of course, uh, this is also based on Debian Wheezy. Now, I'm not sure if Wheezy has been moved over to stable yet. So, this very well could be a testing branch. I'll have to do some research on that. But, at any rate, you can uh, select anything that you want here. And, it'll pull and pull down a list of all the items. And, I just decided to select games just for laughs and giggles. And, you can see there are a number of packages here that you can select and easily install into your system. Solus OS uses Cardapio as its menu navigation system. Bar none, probably the best navigator that's out there. And uh, I like it the way it, it organizes everything, and you can even customize it if you wanted to. Okay, pretty much this operating system does not come with a whole lot. Uh, but the thing is, there's a number of packages that you can get for this. And uh, a number of accessories to get the most out of the operating system. A few graphics tools, a paint image viewer, document viewer, an internet. Too bad this, uh, I really don't like this uh, balloon tip uh, when you uh, are looking at these items. Uh, because it's hiding some of the names of the uh, items. But at any rate, Firefox, Mozilla Thunderbird, Pigeon, Transmission. Uh, LibreOffice comes installed with this. All of the uh, multimedia applications that you would need for playing your multimedia files. But to get the most out of OpenShot, you're going to need to install Inkscape and Blender. And then, of course, a few system tools. And it looks like this will support Compiz. Bottom line, this is alpha software. During my initial test phase, before starting up the camera, I did run into a number of bugs when I tried to... Um, changed some settings in the Cadapio menu, the menu kept popping up and, uh, and it was kind of like blinking and that sort of thing. Uh, so this does need work, but they are headed in the right direction. I really think this will be a nice uh, distribution for beginners once the product is finished. Good work so far. Mm -hmm. 